Hello everyone and welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. In today's video, I will be responding to a comment that requested I show how to do the lower level porch with a balcony. So the shabby chic build that I uploaded on Friday had a balcony like this, but previously I built lower level porches without balconies. I've already uploaded a video previously on how to do this, so hopefully you should see an iCard pop up in the top right hand corner of your screen, and that's if you're watching on a device. So here's how I build porches anyway. You must make sure you join the main build at an angle, okay? So you can see these little squares adjoining the main build at an angle, and then I finish out the shape of the porch. You have to join this porch to the main build at angles so that when you elevate the main house, the porch becomes a lower level feature, you know, a multi-level, lower level roof with a porch underneath it. Uh, and that's the only way to make sure that the entire house doesn't all pop up at one level. So this is your regular porch. This was the first style of porch that I would design and use in my builds. But then it had that opening at the top there. If you remember, I talked about that and I said that was, you know, not ideal. So I started practicing and I found a way to add a uh, balcony to seal it off and make it realistic <laughs> so you have to start at the second floor place the shape of the balcony that you want this is the one that works for me uh, and then you know of course you've got to choose your paving you've got to choose your railing and this is what you should have at this point the next step is to go back into build mode and start building the porch down below so again at an angle create a porch shape shape this is the one that works for me so two long rooms and then of course you need the l shape feature just follow the steps exactly how i'm doing it and it'll work for you now because the balcony upstairs is in pieces this won't connect so i have to create another l shape feature here drag it up so you've got that shape extend it out by one grid to the right extend it out by one grid to the left and that's your porch okay we're coming back to it but this is what it looks like sealed at the top and i thought that was perfect now i go in and drag the larger l-shaped room straight to the end reducing the other room to a tiny little storage cupboard that could be your meter cupboard you know your electricity meter or your mailbox i don't know so Again, now you just fill up with little items that make your porch look realistic. I've put in some flower pots, a uh, bike, uh, and then of course the arching that works for you and a uh, room flooring that matches the paving on the exterior. So it looks quite realistic. I then go ahead and take a garage door. In this case, it covers five grids you know and that's just perfect it's a white one as well so the porch is color coordinated and i love it it looks just right you know maybe a couple of doors into that little room so that you could place your electricity cupboard or you know your mailbox something so i'm just going to get my sims pup upstairs here i'm going to get a door get this one from the christmas event last year set it down there and get him to make his way out to that um balcony so yes uh, that's how i do it you can try it out obviously make it a little bit bigger if you're going to use a double door um, this is actually a single door so the porch is you know built in such a way that that single door is centered if it's a double door your double door won't be centered now hopefully you can add this to your own designs don't forget to credit hashtag joy's creative finger thanks again and i'll see you again soon in the next video bye Thank you.